All right, ladies and gentlemen, third try, third tries the charm. This time with feeling, we have KSM <laughs> versus KSC. Kill Steel. Uh, this is the what is it? The Kill Steel Civil War. But I feel mm -hmm. like this is more like the Restart Civil War. This is so far. As, this has been the, the the Restart Civil War. You're 100 percent right. Right. So KSM w up one in this best of three because of uh, KSC bringing an illegal lineup. Let's see if KSC can claw this back and get us into a game three. Raptor, do you want to talk about KSM or just go? What do you um, think, sir? I'll give I'll give the quick brief look at their lineup. I've kind of been doing builds as we go by here on the camera. But basically, KSM Fielding, Ohio, St. Vincent, Brisbane, Double Salem, and Minotaur. A whole lot of Her Majesty's Navy there in that lineup thus far. And then uh, Vampire Deuce, uh, a gearing, a fairly standard torpedo build, a concealment gearing uh, in Wombat with the smoke mod. And then Ganser's Alvaro de Basan, which I'm going to be fascinated to see how they deploy and utilize that ship on this map. So we didn't get a chance to look at the KSC lineup before the restart zap. Talk to me about what we got going cooking at the bottom end of the map. Yeah, so um, KSC is bringing a legendary or unique upgrade Kremlin and a, uh, I guess I could say a sniper slash tank build Vermont. Um, heading over towards the alpha side of this rather large map is a, a unique upgrade Des Moines with a torpedo and smoke spec unique upgrade gearing. Uh, Storm in the Stalingrad going to the typical Stalingrad position south of B cap with a uh, reload build. A Z42 getting ready to go backwards into B cap. And moving towards the C side of things, the right side of the map, we've got a Napoli with range and secondary build. We've got a Des Moines in front of him with a unique upgrade. And finally, we've got a torpedo smoke spec gearing on this side as well. And we already see the Vamp do smoking uh, Ollie's Salem into the uh, sweet spot north of, what is it, Echo 5 Island? Yeah, this was the play that they were just starting to make when we had to do our little uh, mulligan last last game. Remember, Kleber and Schlieffen are on the ban list for this map, so that's why teams are not fielding either of those ships. I love I love this position, right? We watched other teams uh, for this uh, Salem slash Des Moines slot. We watched other teams make this play with smoke or crawling smoke or something. But um, Ali is now lit. I'm going to be curious to see if they try to get shells over this island onto him, but... With him oh. nestled up here, I don't think they can. Yeah, Pikachu absolutely can. He's got the plane going up. That town there, we've seen uh, Salem, we've seen a Des Moines go up. Because of that town, it gives uh, just that right amount of space for Pikachu's Vermont to, to hit this spot. As you can Pika see, he hasn't shot yet. Pika can absolutely get these shells over. It's the Kremlin that can't because of this giant rock. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any way that those shells will come over, not with the Kremlin arcs. Yeah, Pika's Pikachu's obviously waiting. waiting. He's waiting. We're going to go and spectate over. So this is a 15 and a half kilometer shot that Pika is waiting on. He's waiting to see what Ollie is going to do to dodge. Ollie might have to reverse just a little bit farther here as well. And There's here comes the salvo. Here we go. Pika looking for these cross shots. Let's see if they've got the arc to get over. They do. They, not. do. they get over a little bit. Looks like he takes one good solid hit there. Yeah, one or two full pens, and that's about it. Pika's a little bit too close. He can't arc appropriately over the island. Vampire Deuce and Z42 having a bit of a duel here over the B cap. Mm. As the Minotaur over here at A, that's uh, I am Oyman, mm -hmm. goes diving right into the cap. He's going to be there parked out for a while, I suspect. And the, over at C, Wombat's gearing, trying to reverse to the top of the cap. Shogun's gearing, trying to smoke Warped Chaos's Des Moines up to the... Oh, no, Warped has actually turned around. Set to kite from over here. It's interesting. Yes. Yes, and you got the Napoli heading towards the Fidget Spinner Island, along with John the Pickle, Salem, and Swag Over 9000 Boys, uh, St. Vincent, both heading that direction as well. That last Vermont Salvo went in on the Hydro Abuser's Vampire Deuce. Again, nothing nothing doing. Pikachu not coming mm -hmm. up with any real damage there. Yeah, he's just too close. I mean, they they put him in there to yeah. probably help deal with whatever's at B, but he can't arc the shells appropriately oh. from there. Now, well done's Kremlin just moved up and smashed Ollie right through the bow for about 15k there. I mean, As Salem, <laughs> Salem, Salem can't withstand a firepower of that magnitude zap. Uh, definitely not. And the big problem is he's detected and 
is going to stay detected for at least another nine seconds. Here comes the next salvo from Well Done, times three. Oh to the face! To wow. the face! That has to have been at least three citadels right through his nose. Brilliant. I mean, ouch. Brilliant salvo, solid battleship position. And you know what I love about what I love about this from KSC Zath? Mm. They under, they knew or they highly suspected there was gonna be a cruiser there. And yeah. these early battleship positions were designed to crush it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Between Pikachu's cross shots and well done's Kremlin, they knew they were gonna have to dig somebody out of there, and they came ready for it. And even with Pikachu missing, you could see the, the impact that that had on that Salem. He knew he couldn't oh, yeah. go farther back. Pucker Factor 9000 for sure. <laughs> Raiden We've had coming a lot under of some alerts focus. already today. <laughs> we have had a few. Raiden coming under some focus fire here at the bottom end of the sea cap under the Brisbane radar from Malakin off to the north. Counter radar going out. Shell's going in on Wombat as well, but Raiden coming out worse on that exchange. Yeah, I think so. But uh, I'll tell you, K KSM's got this really nice push set up if they're going to choose to do it. I think that's the question because KSC is set to receive, Zath. Look at their yes. lineup over here at the C-Cap. Everybody is set. Pikachu's guns are looking, just waiting for somebody to give him a shot. In fact, he's taking a salvo on the St. Vincent right now. He might as well. <laughs> what else has he got to shoot at? But you can't see anything else, and those guns, those guns aren't going to reload themselves, so... Nope. Meanwhile, well, over A, look at well done times three is Kremlin. He's actually backed up and moved to the side to face the Alvaro de Bazan. Now, we haven't talked about that ship yet. It's our first Spanish ship I think I've ever seen in King of the Sea. I What's think, so special about it, Raptor? Uh, I think I've seen one before, but it was in the early stages. I've never seen one this late. Bazan is primarily a gunboat, if memory serves. I haven't played a whole lot of it. Um... I know that it's based on the same uh, the same hulls as the Italian destroyer, so she's not super stealthy, pretty solid guns, um, and then fairly weak torpedoes. What else am I missing, Zaf? I, I think you you got that covered. I was just taking a look at the uh, the consumables. Uh, I agree with you. Relatively new ship, and um, you know a lot of new ships for us to kind of keep straight. Although uh, he is backing up there, it looks like he's got a you know engine boost active. He's got a smoke active. Now, Oyman's Minotaur is definitely in trouble here. He's snuggled into this island to try to dodge as much of this incoming fire from the Des Moines and the Gearing as he can. The Kremlin has moved up to proxy spot him, so there's no way for this Minotaur <laughs> to go dark. They're just trying to burn him down. Look at look at the tip of, of Well Done 3's Kremlin, just like sitting there like, I know you're yep. there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Oyman is trapped. He can't move. He can't go forward. The Kremlin will own him. Um, he, the odds of him going out there and taking the Kremlin with him with the torpedoes, I mean, it's possible, but man, that's unlikely. That's honestly, that's that's his only play. Uh, you know, he's not going to sit here and get whittled to death. I would say know? he's not going to make it. He's just going to sit here and burn to death, apparently. Although he is finally dark. They're fishing for him. French radar, as you like to say. Oh, yes. Yes, he is being nibbled to death by cats. Nibbled to death by cats as there he goes. So two kills here in the early going for K. Well, I say early going. We're eight and a half minutes in. Mm. But KSC picking up two kills on impactful cruiser positions. They either knew or strongly suspected were going to be there. Came ready for it with a plan. Dealt with them both. They're going to pick up A here in a sec. They've picked up B already. And they're still waiting for KSM to actually do something. They're just kind of like, All right, come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Well, the KSM push down the 910 line just seems to not really exist. They're just all sitting here. Right. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. I mean, if you're KSC, you've got a lead. You've got a 200-point lead. The game's nearly half over. What's the rush? You, I mean, just sit there and wait for them. Right. If they don't come, that's their problem. That's right. Exactly. Our Hulk's Ohio trying to stem the, the bleeding over on this side, at least to slow down the enemy push. Remember, our Hulk does not have any captain skills, so his, his survivability is going to be a little reduced off of what he would prefer. That's right. That's right. The uh, the captain's on a training exercise right now. Yes, that's that's it. I do like the positioning of the Stalingrad, though. Storm has moved up and yeah. he's just sitting right on our Hulk's rear. Well, they've got a nice lock on the B cap, really, from the Stalingrad in that position. 
Mm -hmm. right? The Z40 suit covering the cap down here. He has his hydro available. Well, it's down at the moment, but when it is available, it'll be useful. Hey, and the if push you is need happening. It, and there we go. And if you need it, you've got uh, you've got Storm's radar. Now they are doing a good job. Ganser is just m murdering poor poor Well Done's Kremlin. He just still hasn't capped and has farmed tons of his HP. Spag over nine thousand boy on the nine line is pushing. Salem is coming around that fidget spinner island. Warp chaos smacked in the face. He's, he's pushing by himself, though. There's nobody with him. Yeah, I'm surprised that John the Pickle didn't like, move with him. Like, why would you make this play without friends? Swag is a St. Vincent. He's not invincible. He can sustain a lot of damage, but he can still die. In fact, yep. that looks like what's going to happen right here. Yep. Almost gets the trade with Warped Chaos. Now it's just up to the Funny Torp. Let's see if the Funny Torpedo was aimed correctly. And Survey says it. Whoa. <laughs> it would have, but Warped <laughs> does a brilliant job of maneuvering there with the Legendary Module and, and, dodge, and, dock, and ducking out of it. That's right. It feels like what we just saw with SCCC shoving that Vermont down the 910 line without the support of, uh, what was that, Griefer's uh, Marsili. Yeah. Three ship and a cap lead here for KSC, looking solid in game two. They're having having had that unfortunate forfeit in game one, coming into this down a game, needing a win to stay alive. Well on their way. I think way, they're gonna find it. I I think they are too. I mean, I just I, as I look at this from KSM, I okay, you've got solid control of C. That looks like they're gonna try to make a play for the B cap. They're moving the Brisbane through the gap, possibly, but I mean, well. they have they have no anchor on the C flank. They I don't want to move Malikin, but he's detected. So yeah, he's he's radared waiting. in there. Yep. Showing a little bit too much, perhaps, to warp Chaos's Des Moines. So waiting for the AP salvo, but I haven't seen it yet. Well, it's like, do you take the, the Vermont, or do you... And so he's trying yep. to avoid the Vermont yep. shells, but yep. he gets hammered on both sides. He gets double teamed. The, the Des Moines on one side, the Stalin Storm Stalingrad on the other, and now it's a four-ship lead. Well, we always love game threes, Raptor. Well, guess what, Zath? <laughs> I got good <laughs> news for you, buddy. <laughs> and it's even a map that you and I have been begging to see and played uh, since day one, because basically nobody has... I, we, I haven't seen it. Most teams have been banning it. We're going to be headed to Islands of Ice for game three very soon, I think. Yeah, that's my map, baby. Yeah. I've seen it uh, once or twice so far. I think I know we saw it on day one, because everybody played it on day one. Mm -hmm. King, I did King a, Viper... I, Acquitting himself really well here across the B cap. He's going to take Chinese Hydro with him, I think. But he is going to. Mm. I think. He's, I think they're going to. They're going to trade here. Oof. No, Chinese nope. alive on 18 health. There he goes. There he goes. Viper's going to make the trade. He'll do that all day long. Now with KSC having a a, a huge lead. Oh yeah. No, oh, I actually covered. A, I did a deep dive of. Uh, I don't remember the teams off the top of my head, but we did look at Islands of Ice. Uh, it was a lot of fun to take a look at. I am looking forward to the next map. It's going to be entertaining, Zap, because, you know, we've talked about the challenges that, that teams have adapting to the new cap layout, the, the particular quirks of that map. It's going to be fascinating to see two teams of this caliber see how they play it, what strats they've come up with. Absolutely. Wombat probably going down here, 604. Yeah, he's trying, to, on Des Moines radar. trying to stay alive through this radar. Doesn't quite manage it. Everything coming up KSC here in game two after their unfortunate forfeit in game one. Oof. Pikachu gets the Vermont, or sorry, the Salem as well. Looks like he had just started to come out from behind Fidget Spinner just a bit to fight Quicksilver's Napoli and uh, did not survive the experience. No. The last surviving KSM ships all the way over here on the two line. Ganser's Bazan in the cap against Well Done's Kremlin, who's right across from all our Hulk's Ohio. This point, I'm sure our Hulk is like, all right, let's just end this so I can please get out of the training room and, <laughs> and fix my lineup. <laughs> and go spec my captain. Ganser will go down here. Gets there us just second, seconds from a KSC win. Not going to be a flawless victory for KSC. I mean, they, they gave up King Viper, but I mean, at the same time, it, it was, you know, once you've got a, a three or four ship lead, losing a ship like that, not a catastrophe, especially when he traded well. And he did. Absolutely. 
So uh, that takes care of game two. We are it took a while tied. to get there, but we finally got to game two. <laughs> <laughs> it did not disappoint. The wait was worth it. The wait was worth it indeed, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, listen, we're tied up at a game apiece now after all the technical problems we had to get to this point. Let's head back to the studio. We can chat a little bit about this game and get ready for a fascinating game three on Islands of Ice. Sounds like a plan.